today, let me show you my rugby technique, okay? Bye. First, you have to set up the tee. You place the ball on the tee. Then, you take with this. I usually take both at the back and both at the front. You, you, you can just go like one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I just take four. Okay, so yes, one, two, three, four. Now, you can do any seconds you want six seconds, five seconds, whatever. I do four. Four. Look at the four for the four, then five. Uh, at the goal post, six, back at the four, finish, four, then keep on doing it with a second, okay? Four, three, two, one. And then, <laughs> then you take one step back, then, then two more seconds, two, one, then one step back. Put your leg up, then the kick. Easy. Like that. Now let's practice the game. So let me just sit up so you can see. I don't. I practice at home, so I practice. The trampoline. I know, right? Stupid. Now I'm gonna go in front of the camera to do this. Yep. And now, we have to practice stepping. Yep, we we'll practice stepping. Oh, so, yep, I'm gonna set you right, set you right there. Yep. So, so like if you're in rugby and all the rugby viewers have been watching, and then if someone passes you the ball, like this, and then you catch the ball, you, you don't just stand still and start running forward. You you gotta use some steps, you know? Like this is nice. Wait, let me try that again. Ooh. Yep, side step. Goose, goosey. Yep. Yep, and the washing machine. Or whatever you call those steps. I just call, call, call the last one washing machine. Well, so for example, see this guy right here, this plant? So I just pretend that's a person, right? A plant. Then, Run up to it. Like if you, so this is this is if you're just standing still. Ooh. You you know they tackle you, you fall down. But this is when you step. And and 
and then look. So now this is palm tree. So this is me. This is me when I first started with this. I didn't know how to step. I didn't know how to do anything. I just run up. Ooh, tackle. But this is me, and this is me after I learned how to step. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Now we have to learn the drop kicking or just kicking without any teeth. So set it up right here. So Now, the point of drop kicking, um, what a drop kicking or grubber kicks or punts is, is like when you're getting chased, when you're getting chased, you like, and you keep on passing, but like there's no space to run, you you just kick up, someone catches the ball, gets a try. Yep, yeah, that, that's the importance of kicking. Now I'm gonna show you a grubber kick. So technically what you have to do is then you let the golf ball down and like like not like like this with the ball down but it bounces so it looks Yep like that. And it rolls and then when it like bounces someone catches it, it's a try. This is a drop kick. PS I might be pretty bad doing this. So the point of drop kicking, uh, all of this information that I'm telling you, it might be useless to some people that know how to play rugby, but this information is for, for beginners, okay? The uh, point of drop kicking, like this is how you do drop kick. You let go of the ball, bounces, then you kick, and it goes up high. Get up. And, and like what a drop kicking. Like you can't do a grubber kick if like everyone like the team is like spread out. <sighs> yeah, but if like if they're all coming for you, drop kick goes high, you know, easily. And this is a punt. So, Those are punts, and those are punts, okay? And surprise, surprise, we're gonna learn how to tackle, okay? A tackle. Look, can you be my experience, Mary? Experience. Yeah, get down. I'm trying to. Okay, 
So I'm gonna use my sister right here. My sister right here. 